New information now on an E. coli outbreak in Kent and Ottawa counties as health experts continue to investigate the source. 13 on your side reporter Keely Lovern spoke to local health authorities about the newest data following the weekend and she has that story new tonight. The Ottawa County Department of Public Health says there are currently 16 cases of E. coli in the county. Six of them have resulted in hospitalization and three of those are pediatric cases which have resulted in a more serious kidney condition. It's likely that more cases will um, be associated with this outbreak now that it's a multi-jurisdictional investigation. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is also reporting that 55% of Michigan cases as of Friday had reported eating at a Wendy's. They say the specific source is not yet known, but most of the victims reported eating sandwiches topped with romaine lettuce. You can contract E. coli through a variety of sources. Often it is food, but it can be in water, um, you know, from swimming or other things. And so what the CDC is trying to do right now is identify, is it lettuce from Wendy's or is it a different food source or is it not a food source at all? In this case, a food source is being investigated as well as other sources and no source has been identified as the confirmed source yet. Health officials say they're working with Wendy's and there's no reason to avoid eating there. As far as other ways you could become infected. It's oral transmission um, and often fecal oral transmission. So you might have not washed your hands and touched something and then, you know, you put your hands in your mouth. So that being said. So things like washing your hands thoroughly are very important, especially after you have used the bathroom or changed a diaper. And as school starts back up, Clark says they work closely with the local district as each communicable disease has its own set of protocols. Okay, we have this kind of outbreak, whether it's E. coli or something else, and here's what you need to do to protect that school community. And most importantly, experts ask that you report any symptoms or diagnosis to your local health department. We just really want to be able to make those links, especially in like this current situation with E. coli, where we can make the links and then try to prevent further spread of the illness by identifying the source. Reporting for Ottawa County, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.